Hello everybody, welcome to another Photoshop CS6 tutorial. I'm Buddy Blackford and today we're going to talk about another filter and this filter is called the Unsharp Mask Filter and it's up here in your filter menu and then if we come down here to sharpen it's right here under Unsharp Mask. So what the Unsharp Mask does is it creates a uh, visually sharper image by locating pixels that differ in value from surrounding pixels. And then when you put it on, um, the bordering pixels, um, they pretty much, the lighter ones get lighter and the darker pixels get darker and it creates the illusion of sharpness. It's not actually sharpening the image, so um, you need to be careful of how you use it like that. Um, one thing to watch out for is that um, the uh, effects appear more severe, I guess you would say, on the computer than if you were to print the image out. So just keep an eye on that um, in especially low resolution photos. So let's go ahead and apply this mask to see what it does. Let's duplicate our background layer. So we have another layer that we can compare to. Now I'm going to go to filter and I'm just going to um, apply my uh, unsharp mask to the top layer and you can see that we've got some uh, different settings here now I'm gonna move to actually I'm gonna move towards this tire area and I'm gonna move all these back um, this is the setting that I found that I liked but I'm gonna move back so we can see what's going on so I can go over each of these with you the amount here um, determines how much to increase the contrast. So I went to like 90 because I liked how that looked. Now experiment on your own with your own picture to see what you like because they're all going to be different based on your image that you pick. The radius here determines the number of pixels surrounding the edge pixels that are going to get affected. So I went some something like, I don't know, this sounds good right here. You can see how the image is getting way more affected with our radius now. So this was it before. You can see it's kind of a little, like a little blurrier. And then when I bring it, this up a little bit, it's starting to get a lot sharper. And you can see some details in it and everything. Now the threshold here um, determines how different the sharpened pixels are from the surrounding area. And um, I'll just uh, move this and you can see how it affects the uh, image. See there it's uh, if I turn it up all the way I kinda like got rid of the sharpness that I was going for so I'm gonna keep it down a little pretty much until it looks nice so something like this 10. I'm gonna hit OK and then we can just check out the image by um, turning or check out how the filter looks by comparing it to the background image. I'm just gonna turn on and turn off the uh, visibility of the layer. Now you don't see a huge subtle change or you don't see a huge change but I could definitely see change right here around the um, waist area. I can see change in this in these tires over here so keep an eye on those when you're looking at this real quick. Those are probably the most uh, visually impacted areas that I, I can see right now as I'm going back and forth. The sunglasses look like they're uh, getting changed. So pretty much it looks like the image is getting less blurry and more sharp. And uh, that's what the Unsharp Mask aims to do and brings us a little bit more contrast in your image. So that's what the uh, image is used for, and or that's what the uh, filter is used for, and you can see how it's pretty useful in making your images less blurry. So that's it for the unsharp mask filter. Remember that um, what it does is it gives you the illusion of sharpness by um, making the contrast of the uh, bordering pixels around there. It makes the lighters get light, or makes the, makes the lights get lighter and the darkers get darker. So hopefully that makes sense to you guys. So thanks for watching this one. It's all over. We'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Have a good one.